Greetings and welcome back to more Armor Red Hammer. We're now grounded. You've been forced to land near the airfield. Your fuel line has been heat. Return to the base and steal the fuel truck. Refuel your chopper and get to airborne as quickly as possible. Then you must rendezvous with the repair truck. Eagle will advise you of the position. Finally, you must pick up Nikolai's squad who are stranded near Arudi. She's way down there. And flee the island to the south. Alright, so. Dig, nothing's going right today. Where'd my M16 and my jigger go? Eagle, this is Lukin. We have the chopper with a ruptured fuel line. We are coming back for a fuel truck. We are damaged too and need repair. Please advise. Over. Two, engage at will. Two, keep low. Oh. Oh, the pilots are pissed. It's attack of the pilots. Alright. I think there's a truck over here that we can take to make the walk a lot less bearable. Or a lot more bearable, I should say. Well, there's a standard protocol being behind enemy lines. You steal one of their guns. This is something I used to do in Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway when I was playing it online. Because I was in the top clan in that. For the 360 version anyways at one time. Which was great because it was just a bunch of random guys who just jumped in the room and said, Hey, you guys want to form a clan? We said, Yeah, and we were the best group of player players on there. It was great. Good times. Uh, I'd always make it a point to steal someone's weapon on the other team, and no matter what it was, use that to run behind their lines and then just start kicking the crap out of them because they wouldn't. You don't really turn your head at the sound of an enemy gun or at a friendly gun. So I was able to just run around with almost impunity. And just kick the absolute bejesus. Like, just seal club these people. <laughs> it's like an MP40 or a Tommy gun, something like that. It's freaking fantastic. And God help them, they gave me a BAR and I was on a German team. Alright, so we got this little baby M16 thing. Oh. Not quite an M4, it's much bulkier. I'm not gonna swore there was like a truck over here that we could take. Man, don't make me walk all the way over there. There's gotta be a jeep or something over here. What's my gear looking like? Take one more mag. Alright. You know what? Two. Two. Take weapon from pilot. Four o'clock. Roger. Two. Ready. Okay. What's your gear looking like? Okay. Good. I mean, normally, I want him to have a weapon that's gonna. That I know when he's shooting, but we're behind enemy lines. This. Poor sucker's been stuck with me this whole time, and he's been a real help, so. And I could have swore that there was a Jeep or something over here that you could take. So I'm going to walk all the way back over here. Oh, there's some guys. Yep, I got plenty of ammo, so I can just start unloading on these guys. All right, now those are regular soldiers. Does somebody have a G36 for me, or at least an AUG? A Steyr AUG would be great. And yeah, I know it's pronounced Steyr A U G, but I don't care. I call it an AUG. Sounds cooler. At least in my mind. 
but my mind is not a sane mind. I think we could all agree on that. Okay, so what we got? We got like he had something. M60. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. What we got to pick from? Styre Aug. Okay. Medic pants. When you. Oh, he can't pick up the M60. Well, you keep what you got. You're good. I am going to take the Styre Aug. Booyah. So. Austrian assault rifle, very nice. Has a little scope. It's pretty good. I think it's a Russian gun. It has a scope on it now, but I'm not sure. All right, so medic pants, you're good. We're all good. Let's go. Let me take a couple hand grenades. No, no, it's hand grenades. Okay. Am I filled up on grenades or anything? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yep, sorry, I always got the uh, scope. Let's start running. I like my iron sights. I absolutely adore iron sights, but if I can have me a little scope on a rifle, let's do it. Oh, sun's coming up. Dawn approaches. I don't need our night vision goggles anymore. else. Well, I got, that was lucky. Take down these two guys. 16. Let me see. Two. Take weapon from soldier. Six o'clock. Take that M16 because that's better than what you got. That's another M16. Okay. Alright, come on, buddy. Back on the road, and there's more cover on the road. Now, I don't sprint so much in this game because you do have stamina, me, uh, which you have to manage. And if you get too crazy on running around, then you're when you go to go aim down your sights, your gun is just all over the darn place. So when I'm going into unknown territory, it's best to just take it, take it slow. Oh, there's a bunch of guys. Let's get off the road. Get a little closer yet. Yeah, this gun's just about as powerful as a G36, I think. Uh, if not as powerful. One shot basically kills anything maybe two There's one nice thing I do like about this game is that it does have the whole if you're moving if something's moving closer to you the pitch of it is higher and if it's moving away from you the pitch of it's lower. Oh you piece of garbage didn't even see him. Son of a biscuit, please tell me I am not Eagle, Son Luke. of a we Biscuit with ruptured fuel <sighs> fuel truck. We are damaged too and need repair. Please advise. Over. Roger. Well, well I know where I'm going this time. But we do need to knock out these pilots. If we can run up on us and hold the chopper. So we gotta kill everything. Alright, 
we'll just hang on to our AKs for now and go over here to these guys who have the Steyr AUG and take their gun. Well, at least I know there's no truck over there, otherwise this would have made this mission much easier. So now we got to do our whole run a kilometer mode. Oh boy. Nothing make you madder than seeing and get all the way to an objective and some guy you can't even see shoots you. <laughs> Man, I tell you. Squad comes from. I really don't want to get shot by that Styrog. Oh, there they are. Is that them? Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's them. 12 o'clock. Unknown. Man 200. 2. Engage at will. 2. Keep low. withering volume of fire on them. Guess we got them all. Yay! Oh, we're definitely picking up some more Star Hog Mags now. Come on! There was more than just those guys. Hmm. Okay, two, six. Oh, two, six. Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, hence this is why I don't turn on Super AI, because these missions would take about four times longer to do. And that's mainly because their reaction time is way higher, and they're already in ticked off mode. Two, stay alert. Two, keep low. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Whew. Okay, that was the M60 guy. That's who I was looking for. Okay, we're good. Now. Two, six. Two, take weapon from soldier, 12 o'clock. Roger. Oh boy, here we go. Two, return to formation. Roger. Two, keep low. Right, two. Two, danger.
Oh, there's one. He dead. Oh, he dead. Why are you sitting in front of me? Get to this bush, take a peek. Not sure if I killed that one, but I mean, if you're gonna run right in my gun sight, right where I had it, where I needed it. Sure, why not? Oh. Mm. Couldn't track him well enough. I freaking love this gun. It's only got full auto and single shot, but my gosh, this gun. The real version is a low rate of fire, fully automatic assault rifle. You're going to see the profile picture of it. There it is. It's very futuristic looking. Uh, bullpup design. I think it, I think it is the first fully in, uh, adopted bullpup assault rifle in the world for any military. It is a beast of a gun. Okay, I don't want to use my medic as a guinea pig. He's doing it right. Oh, there he is. There you are, buddy boy. Sit down. I think that's all of them. There's not supposed to be a whole heck of a lot of these guys over here because I mean I killed most of them the first go around. There's a guy. Alright, we're good to go. Two, board truck. Roger. Come on, let's go. Get in this thing, come on, we gotta go. It's too long to get down here. 
Oh, is that that's oh that's a mountain. You're gonna land it for me, okay. Dmitri, Seal, we need immediate evac. There's an armored column coming straight at us. Get us out of here, Seal, please. Roger that. Whoa! Whoa, what are you doing? What? Oh, no! Okay, 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 we're good. We're good. <laughs> Chopper. Don't be like that. There we go. Alright. I think the Z key kind of got, uh, or my, my lower altitude key got held down. But I, the game wasn't being a dick that time, and it said you can recover. So, thank the Lord for that. I was not about to want to do this whole mission over again. Abrams. Shooting so slow. No target, target, M113. Oh, wow. No target, target, Abrams, one, five. No target, target, Abrams, one, five. Yeah, you gotta really hammer those Abrams or something. This thing has six rocket pods on it. It's freaking nuts. And this is just a transport chopper. This thing does rival the Hind in terms of firepower. It's pretty crazy. The Hind just has, uh... Oh, what is it? Homing missiles. Hey, guys. Y'all ready to go home? I'm ready to go home. Go home, go to bed. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, guys. There we go. Everybody in the chopper. See that? No, no auto hover. Ha <laughs> ha. We got plenty of fuel. Everybody in. Yes, now that you have all of these survivors in the back of your chopper, go engage another armored column, because why not? For the giggles of it. It's alright, we are in the vehicle to do this stuff, so I can't complain too, too much. I still got 156 rockets left, might as well leave them here.
Now one thing, if you're noticing here, we well, probably can't notice it unless you're actually playing the game. The game does auto-track the terrain, in a way, with the choppers. Oh, you stupid frickin' game! I knew that was gonna happen! One bolt hit the frickin' rotor. Oh! Okay. No, no. Bad game. Bad game. Bad game. Let me do this. And this. Oh my goodness. Okay, alright. Retry. Q and up. Come on. No, 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 no. You can do it. You can do it, I believe. How about we do auto hover? That should fix it. Oh no. Let's hold. Come on. Come on, baby. We bounced off it last time and we recovered. You can do it. I believe. We almost got it. Come on. We got this. We're being dumb. Come on. You can do it. Let's see if jumping out does anything. Oh, it was a rotors. sense. Why does this game do this to me? I'm not redoing this whole mission. We are going to get this thing to work. Okay. Back down the hill. What if I hit the rudder? Oh, there we go. They're moving. Okay, let's just, uh... Yeah. Okay, alright, we're good. I got it. I got it that time. Woo! Okay. I said to turn the chopper a bit. Okay, we're good. I got this. Okay. Manual fire still on. Find the Vulcan and kill it. Every armor column has a Vulcan. Okay. That's good to know. No lower my altitude, so there we go. We're going around 90. No, we're going around 90. her around, come on. Oh, this thing handles like a freaking boat. You don't, you freaking don't, you don't. Ow, 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 ow. No target.
on, baby. Come on, baby. We got this. longer than it should. Why is it not dying? Jeez. Alright, we're gonna save it as soon as we pick up the glass squad. So Everybody in the pool. Blow this freaking thing up. Look into ego. Okay. Save. I'm on my way home. Over. Roger that. There's another armored column headed for the lighthouse. Engage and destroy before it gets there. Yes, yeah, take your transport chopper up against a highly sophisticated anti-aircraft device. Real swift. Alright, well we got it this time. I may not have to load unless the Vulcan clips my rudder again and then I go down and get a ball of flame. Because I can't rapid fire my rockets anymore for mysterious reasons. Good to me. Okay, where? Where is it? Flip the Vulcan ad. Target M113 to 112 o'clock. Enemy M113 1000. 12 o'clock. Enemy M16 500. Die! Alright, we got it. He didn't clip my rudder this time, so. Success. Target Abrams zero eight. How many rockets are they going to take? Jays. Boat 
birds out there. Got him! <laughs> Snipe, sucker! All right, let's head home. Russians love their rockets, I'll tell you. Your number of rocket pods on the side of this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy! Heading for home. campaign. Whatever. It's there. It's cool looking. It's a thing. Well done. You've certainly proven your resourcefulness today. Yeah, you got a Black Hawk, three Abrams, two Vulcans, in a chopper, an M60, a butt ton of soldiers. Yeah, good day. General Guba demands your presence. Your efforts have not escaped me. I fight to make our country strong again, sir, and because it is all I have ever known. I need men like you, men without fear, to inspire and to lead. I need you in Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz? Why not? The troops respect you. The Americans fear you. Yeah. I will not let you down. Put me in Spetsnaz, baby! Yeah! We're back. You don't know what this means to me, General. I once... Never mind. You and I, looking, we are men of action, not men of words. Now prove my faith in you by your actions. Return to the front line and fight. Fight with honor. I'm in Spetsnaz. Yeah! I get to be me. <laughs> That's a lot of rockets. I still just look at, look at that transport chopper. I'm like, jeez. The St. Louis, we in Missouri? No, no, this is St. Louis. Man, get ready to move out. They're expecting us in La Trinier in 20 minutes. Shouldn't you be dead already? Oh, he just got glasses. Yep, he's got a G36. That sweet Jeep. That unit from St. Louis will be here any minute. Look lively. It's just not safe around here. You are not black. <laughs> The black guy said it more white than that guy. 
Or I should say, he's not ghetto. There's a difference. Not all black people talk like that. In fact, a lot of them don't. It's just the trashy, uneducated idiots who talk like that. Right. Assassination. Next time on Arma Red Hammer. Later, guys.